listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and 4 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. We discovered that human potential is severely limited when you program humans like a machine, which is standard practice today for self-improvement. The ecosystem approach teaches you how to uncover your infinite potential by using natural methods that are truly revolutionary. Join us now for the ecosystem approach show. We live in an area where being self-sufficient is a highly prized trait that most people strive for and aspire to for their lives. Many believe that self-sufficiency has to do with growing your own food, having a backup generator, um, or living off the grid. But is that real self-sufficiency? As always, we have a perspective that is interesting and could challenge your beliefs about self-sufficiency. We're married intuitives with over 20 years experience who created the ecosystem approach for you. This is much different because we see human beings as ecosystems that need to be restored instead of programmed. We show you how to take an energy approach for internal discovery that is rational, practical, and useful for everyday life. Jason, you've been talking about our generator setup ever since we had a three-day power outage during the 4th of July weekend. Isn't that true self-sufficiency? Well, not really, although I'm sure I've worn out my my um, my spousal um, <laughs> patience um, in terms of Patricia. Um, but you know we had we've we've had a lot of power outages since yes. we moved here. Yes, we have way more than when we were in the metropolitan um, Bay Area. So right. um, um, you know it in the beginning, it was like every time there was a bad weather, even just a little bit of rain, it would, it would, it would uh, the up. power would go out. Yes. That's right. That's and why we ended up getting a generator in the first place. Exactly. Yes. And I've refined the setup and, and frankly, and by the way, and done an amazing job, everyone. So, I just want you to know, you know, and it's not one of those uh, Generax, just, just, just for people that are, are nerdy like me, they want to know, but, um, it's not a not a generator, but it's a, it's a good portable generator. Yes. It, it was one plug into the house. We have what they call a transfer switch, and it just it's it works really well. Yes, it does. So, um, um, but I've been saying, okay, um, worst case scenario, I keep going. The worst worst case scenario, right. you know, how can we we be safe? And um, this winter, we had three feet of snow here. Now. I grew up in Minnesota, so three feet of snow, eh, that's nothing, you know? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> she did, so like, I've never, seen, she, 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 she enjoys seeing the snow when it happens. Oh, I do. And when it happens up here, it's usually maybe less than an inch, and then it's gone two or three days later. At the most. Yeah. At the very most. This was three days of, of snow, and it lasted, what, a week and a half? Oh, no, no. Well, there was still uh, snow on the ground for um, at least three weeks. Yeah, yeah. So, it yes. was it was a long time. In some places, not uh, not uh, everywhere, but yes. So um, our our generator is an auto start, so I had to go out there and and go you know do go this through and the, do that go through yes. the snow. I mean, yes. go through three feet of snow. It was yeah. and it, you know the power went out first thing in the morning, so I was out there and um, uh, but but that was okay, you know. So w we had that taken care of, and right. we we're going to make some changes so that we uh, have a a more continuous um, form. Instead of using gas, we're going to use propane. Right. Uh, but. All, all that is um, all that is kind of prepper stuff. Well, and, and by the way, when I saw the word prepper, I thought it was pepper. And I thought, <laughs> what does peppers um, peppers have to do with being self-sufficient? But I was going to wait for the answer. So, Jason, what does. Um, well, a prepper is someone who's who's expecting, um, um, uh, you know, I don't know if there's an exact definition, but expecting some sort of um, natural disaster or calamity. Okay. Um, and they want to be off the grid and self-sufficient. Okay. So that if the grid goes down, if um, um, there's there's widespread power outages, okay. if there's a natural disaster um, that will take out the power for weeks and you know maybe even months, 
um, they want to be prepared. So, and and by the way, I can understand that, um, especially being here with your mom and and uh, that sort of thing. But um, I guess the point that I'm trying to make is that, that we share be. we share that mentality. Yes, we and do. And I actually enjoy it. I, you know, we have a backup generator, we have a well. Mm -hmm. um, in a lot of respects, we are are becoming more and more self sufficient. Correct. We have uh, an amazing garden that that we've been working on for years now, mm -hmm. and this year we kind of upped our game a little bit, and it's um, um, it's, it's really pretty producing. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, it is. And we can ex we have enough space to expand it um considerably once we once we get down the system so to Correct. speak but um um so i want to say this that we are have a prepper mentality we want to be self-sufficient but i also see and it's very clear to me hardcore preppers can be paranoid delusional angry mm -hmm. you yes. know i'm uh, I'm, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't want, I don't want anything to do with the government. I, I don't want anything, say, you know, especially against, you know, government. and if anybody kinds of come on my, my, uh, property, property I'm going to shoot them. Yeah. I've got yeah. guns. I've got yeah. ammo. I'm, okay. I'm ready for, for world well, war 10 or and, whatever it is. And, yeah. and they're also, um, that, that anger that you're talking about, um, it's also, uh, prone to conspiracy theory. Yes. And, um, uh, I'm going to say the, the belief that the world is coming to an end and so i have to have everything i need right at my arm's reach well and um i remember reading this in the 70s okay um um it was it was some financial books but but they were talking about putting a, a year supply of food in your basement that oh person, absolutely you know and and we're not saying there's anything wrong with that yeah it's the to me it's the attitude in which you do it yes um, yes and you know, there was a conspiracy theory. I'm trying to remember. It's like um, it wasn't too long ago okay. where it was a major religious figure um, um, who had quite a following, and he was saying, "Yes, um, the second coming is coming. You know, the rapture is coming." Okay. And all these people sold all their stuff. Oh, that's right. In, I forgot in, about in, that. In yeah. preparation for yeah. for this for this change, and it never happened. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, they said, "Well." Oh my gosh. Now what am I going to do? Now what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm really going to miss that and that. Yeah, that kind of thing. You know, we even know about some conspiracies where um there was mass suicide whether it was known or not within yes. the group that yes. hey, the, the world's coming to it in any ways people the government's coming to get us. So it, the best thing to do is to kill all your followers. Um there was the one in the in uh Heaven's Gate uh -huh. um um in San Francisco. Oh, that's where right. where they wanted to uh, jump on a comet so they 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 all laid down took poison so they could their souls could jump on the the comet ship wow so so anyways um hmm. um that's not self sufficiency and we're going to talk about self sufficiency in a little different perspective okay i'm sorry i, I was getting carried away I, yes you, you were know, okay. we we watch a lot of um um, sustainable gardening, um, right. you know, right. um, water and uh, power and that sort of thing. And, and it, it fascinates us. We really like it. And sure. we're going to, we're, I'm sure we're going to be expanding our garden over the years and it's going to be a big deal. And we really enjoy that. Well, it's doubled in size for this year. Yes, so yes. exactly. So, so, um, um, we used to watch Homestead Rescue. Remember that? Oh, I do. It's a, it's a show on the discovery channel and, uh, um, they would go to homesteaders who who hadn't thought out all the things about water when access, they bought when they bought shelter, the homestead land climate yeah, yeah. yes so um um we love being connected to the nature one of the things that we've noticed is that um um as you as as we evolve evolved consciousness we you've heard us talk about that refined intuition correct there's a natural craving for better food oh yeah more uh, better health mm -hmm. and um and we're doing that in in our lives here we really like it we have an acre and a half and it's not huge but the other the other flip side of that is we live in a small community that's an hoa um it's a it's a plant right. plant community and we pay hoa fees but we like not being completely in the boonies right. because there here there are bears mountain lions mm -hmm. um um lots of wildlife that can be a problem and um and in when we had that snow 
um, the HOA provided snow plowing, you know, it was very nice. Yes, it was. Yeah. And the HOA works to, to ensure that, that we're fire safe here, because that's one of our biggest natural disaster possibilities here. Right. Um, that, um, um, just like we were a very similar community, um, very similar community to paradise that was literally burned to the ground because of the fire. It yeah. literally went through the whole town and burned it down in a matter of a very few sure. hours. Yes, it was it was pretty devastating. Yeah. So so um, on one hand, it's nice to be self sufficient. On the other hand, you know, we want to be together with people. Well, and I and I want to put in that um, we also have what you call go bags. Um, that's yes. an uh, army expression. We have go bags set up, and um, um, especially the most efficient one at the moment is, of course, for mom. Yeah, because. Um, it's going to take a little bit if something happens to get her out of the house, that kind of thing. We've been evacuated uh, once, I think, since we've once been here. Once majorly. And, and that can happen. They can say there's a fire and you have to get out. And you got to go. And we would go. So, yes. so, But that's not real self-sufficiency. And we're going to talk about that. Um, and as you evolve, we know that self-sufficiency is really important. Yes. But um, this idea that um, you have a generator in your backyard is not what's it's not what it's all about and we're going to talk about that next couple of segments this is i think is going to be really fast okay i really like that and um so um are we ready to yeah i think okay so. all right so in the next unless you want to know some more about things about generators <laughs> or uh <laughs> yeah, i'm, I'm if, really if lucky you, if you do you need to uh put it in the uh <laughs> <laughs> i'm really lucky because she tolerates this. I mean, we talk about it a lot and she is interested in it and she's actually very well, smart about know. these things. I need yeah. to know a few things. And she yes. wants to know how that works and, and so she can do it, you know. In case not, something happens to him. Yeah, so if I'm not here, she can do it and that okay. sort of thing. Exactly. So, yeah. All right, so in the next segment, we're going to talk about the internal process. There was the key. Yes. Internal process of self-sufficiency, which is real self-sufficiency. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show, unscripted with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're, we're going to continue to talk about the internal process of self-sufficiency. Actually, we're going to start to talk about the internal process of self-sufficiency, which is real self-sufficiency. Jason, what do you mean by internal self-sufficiency? It starts with your own ecosystem. Okay. And it's always personal to you. Okay. So, um, by the way, this is why we call this the ecosystem approach. Correct. Um, it's worth worth mentioning, especially today's show, mm -hmm. is that... Um, you know, you've probably heard it. We've, we see human beings as ecosystems, not machines, right? But that ecosystem includes your emotions and the energies, emotions. Um, um, we see emotions as energies, not as a mood or something correct. Um, that you get, or that's produced in your brain or something. Correct. It's an energy, a correct. subtle energy yes. and they can be, can be affected, um, with energy processes. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do with the ecosystem approach. That's why we call it the ecosystem approach. We were told from a marketing standpoint, it's probably not the best because people don't understand it. But when you do understand it, it's a big deal because yeah. um, your ecosystem is the most important one. That's why I say in the end of the show, it's the most important one. In the world. That's yes, right. it is. And um, it's funny, we see all these videos about preppers who are talking about, you know, we're we're capturing the water and we, we're living sustainably and we have these gardens right. that keep going and blah, 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 which is all great. And we True. like that. We, True. we like seeing that. But that's not the that's not the most important one. And because I see that preppers a lot of times are not emotionally healthy. Mm. They, they if they were if if being self-sufficient was the most healthy that you could be emotionally. Right. Um, all the preppers would be the mo more healthy than the rest of us. Correct. But they're not. Well, and, and I'm going to add when you're not, um, let's see, when you're not emotionally healthy, everything in your ecosystem is affected, whether you realize it or not. 
And yeah, that's a good point because okay. it not only affects your ability to be um, self-sufficient correct. in the physical world. That's correct. But in the um, in the um, in the the emotional wor- world, being with other people, correct. being with um, a group of people, interacting in a way that's that's constructive. Right. During COVID, her family didn't understand how we did so well <laughs> because. I I mean we we have each other. Yes, we do. And, and that is not not very common that I mean a lot of a lot of um um relationships, marriage relationships broke down during COVID they because really they did. were together. Yes. You know, yes. and um in other words, they didn't go do the nine to five. Right. And um um we did well with mom. You know, she's part of our family. We 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 have created our own ecosystem. Correct. The dogs were good. Yeah. Um, we still connected with our clients the way we've always done. Sure. And those are deep, those, those aren't super when we work with a client, it's not superficial. No. It's we have these the deep um connections. Connections, and people True. say to us all the time, Well, I've told you things that I've never told anybody. Oh, else. yes. I hear that a lot. And and so so that's that's what we're talking about real self-sufficiency so people don't think to work on their own ecosystem first you know and and that's the most important thing that anyone can do and uh, one more time i'm going to say because all of us i don't care who you are i mean i'm talking about from the top of the government down to the guy who lives on the beach i'll just say it that way when you have negative energies that you're carrying around and you don't do anything about them, but take them out on other people. That's not a positive ecosystem. That's not an ecosystem that, that won't break down. So in groups, if you can't function in a group, if you can't function in regular society, whatever that is. Correct. And um, because um, um, you can't, you can't follow the rules. You can't um, um, adapt. You can't, um, or you can't work with someone um, by understanding what they're trying to do. You can't. Yes, you can't be flexible enough. There you go. That's... To to um, yield to another person in a in a way that doesn't doesn't violate who you are authentically. Right, or violate them. Yes, who they are uh, authentic. Exactly, and that's a really big deal. People do not understand what it takes it takes evolution yes and how you get that evolution is by removing negative energy from yourself first and by the way you don't miss the removing negative energy meaning once it's gone you're not going to miss it what you what does happen is is that it enables you to gain more information innately about either a situation yourself or somebody else so if you see yourself as your own ecosystem. And Correct. that's primarily, we're talking about your emotions, your emotional ecosystem. Correct. But I don't I don't want to separate it. Your emotional ecosystem affects everything. It affects your money, yes. your relationships. Oh, yeah. It affects your health. Right. You right. know, if, if you're sick and, you know, COVID hit a lot of people hard, yeah, you sure. know, disease and illness is a form right. of a toxin in your ecosystem. Correct. Um, Correct. Um, even even uh, money problems often are um, um, toxics in your ecosystem. That doesn't mean that the richest among us have the best ecosystem. It's, it's usually just the just the opposite. Exactly. But um, um, that's a whole other show. Um, so if you if you were to prioritize self sufficiency and mm-hmm. and ecosystems, you always start with yourself. So if you're working in a cubicle someplace, living in an apartment um, um, with with no windows. Um, and you know, however your your life is, it what's really important for self sufficiency is working on your own ecosystem, because you can always go out in the world, no matter what happens, in the worst calamity that that there's possible, and say, hey, let's work together. Well, and you know what, I want to give a, an example. Do yeah. You, do you mind? When you're working on yourself by using the ecosystem approach, what happens is is that. Um, Say you're gonna, you you realize you wake up one morning and you're angry about something that happened um, oh, with your neighbor next door, and but when you start removing that negative energy of um, anger, then it enables you to be able to 
hear what your neighbor had to say, possibly put in positive suggestions, and it enables you and your neighbor then to be able to work together to solve a problem. Yes. Now, sometimes, and I, I, I'm going to give another example that, you, that you're very aware of. When we used to live in the Bay Area, we lived in this beautiful house that overlooked the San Francisco Bay, and we were up on a hillside. Right. It was wooded. It was beautiful. It, it was, was kind of a nature that was Truly. was was not very um, um, common um, in the Bay Area because you know you, the, the farther you go down the hill, there was the highway and Tra the uh, urban correct. sprawl and yeah. concrete, all that stuff. But it was a great place, except for our uh, <laughs> our driveway about. went to a road which was a private road that um, went right by this guy's house. I mean, literally, the, the driveway was... Um, um, his, his um, almost the... When well, he walked about, out of his house, he would, he would he be on this He was standing in the, in, the, in the road. Yes. That's right. And he parked his cars on that road, and um, in his mind, he owned it. And so it, he wasn't... Um, he would never make a neighbor of the year... Um, he would never have a neighbor. Not in my book. Year war. In fact, there were some screaming matches that happened. Um, um, but part of part of our emotional health was that um, we understood his dysfunction, his dysfunction, and we could work with it. Yes. So we had the screaming matches, and we um, he didn't scream with him too often. Yeah. But <laughs> she was raising her hand if you're listening. But so yeah, so so I did. <laughs> you know we were able to to function. We could um, not necessarily in the best way. And we had to adapt, which we did. We did. And we were able to to function with that. Now, it's nice not to have him around. We we don't miss him at, at all, all, you know, um, uh, but it was, it was one of those things where there's people like that all over the place. You have to kind of bob and weave. And if you have, if you're using the ecosystem approach, you're moving that negative energy. You can do that. Well, in, in other words, what you're saying, I'm going to boil it down to what we did was we saw the dysfunction and we worked with it and we worked with it without using our anger and fear and hate from our from our programming exactly. from our negative energy that is correct so that we could we could survive uh, this guy yes and by the way at times it was survival um it was he was a difficult person to work with yes he really was so so if i was prioritizing self sufficiency and ecosystem Always work on yourself first. Yes, exactly. Because without doing that, um, then you end up um, just recreating over and over and over again that same negative energy. The worst thing is, is that that negative energy gets bigger, stronger, and then it's harder to deal with. If you have the same issue over and over and over again, you know something's not. There's right. a negative energy that needs to be cleared, yes, and exactly. and sometimes that takes a while. And yeah. I'm sorry for that. I'm yes. sorry that's the way the nature of negative energy, yes. but that's the truth. And then you start with yourself, then you start with the people that live close to you. It Correct. could be your family, maybe yes. not. Yes. You know, um, and then your physical ecosystem. Right. You know, right. water and and gardening and Correct. you know all those all those you know my generator that sort of thing so <laughs> you know you can't have my generator but if you need it you know more yeah, and more exactly. people are getting a generator yes exactly. but we all do it backwards we've been trained to do it backwards. yes you know to to do off the grid and not work on yourself first yes. doesn't make sense to us at all exactly so um with all of that said in the next segment we're going to talk about real self-sufficiency in a way that almost seems like a oxymoron, mm -hmm. but this is the highest form of self-sufficiency. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show, unscripted with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. <laughs> This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to talk about real self-sufficiency in a way that almost seems like an oxymoron. You know, stay with us. Find out why this is the highest form of self-sufficiency. Jason, what is the highest form of self-sufficiency? Working with a group for the collective benefit. Oh, and people okay. will hear that and say, oh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Let's let's just all do that. Well, it doesn't work that way. 
And the problem is that for the most part, collectively, as a group, human beings are not evolved enough. True. You know, if you think about all the movements that we've had, the let's, you know, whether it's climate change, okay, um, whether um, it's about um, 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 prejudice, sexism, okay, um, all the isms, um, you know, the, people start out, the, um, organizations are formed, and then and we've seen this very clearly, there starts to be infighting. Yes. Like who's the most important? You know, she did this and he did this. And and what about me? And blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That is all indication that that we're not evolved enough. Right. And so how do you overcome that? Well, that's why we created the ecosystem approach. It's another reason. We, we've yeah. done it for several reasons. Oh, yes. my gosh. I mean, we need to be, to work collectively, we need to be more evolved. Yes. Um, and you always have to start with yourself. Right. It's easy to say, well, that person isn't involved enough, and that's why I, you know. Right. But the the truth is, it's always starts with you. Well, and you know what? I'm going to jump in and say the best example that I can come up with is that um, Jason and I know, and we've done a few things, but we've never actually hung wallpaper, but we know we could <laughs> um, uh, because we use the ecosystem approach. Um there isn't anything that Jason and I couldn't do together. Yeah, we and do be that. a team. We do that. We do that on the ranch. You know, <laughs> we, we call it the ranch. But um, um, we 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 do things all the time in the yard. Uh huh. And I can see our neighbors look at us like, "How are they doing that? How come they haven't killed each other yet?" Because our neighbors don't do that. No, they, they, they don't. work. The, the man works. He does his stuff, and the woman does her stuff. Mm -hmm. And and when they're out there working, they they're almost never together. Correct. And that's that's interesting to us. Now, now we've you know um, um, as we get older, we have to do more and more things together, um, and we can expand our group, um, which yes. we have yes um, from time to time, and we're able to do that. Correct. And um, but um, working collectively, you know, you've heard me talk about the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And we're in this age of Aquarius. It's a it's a two thousand year age, but it's a new i new way of thinking about individuals. In other words, a different perspective. Different perspective. Okay. And it's about um, the the growth of the individual, which we would call evolution. Okay. Removing negative energy from your essence, so that you can the who you are authentically comes forward. Okay. And. When you're authentic to yourself, mm. your ability to work with other people increases tremendously. Yes. 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 The yes. more negative energy you remove, the more you're able to do that. And that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. So so if you if you're sitting there and saying, Okay, oh my gosh, there could there could be a money collapse, there could be a grid collapse, mm -hmm. you know, no electricity, there could be um um we could be um um all the banking systems could be hacked. Mm. That sort of thing. Yeah. All, all these possible, and and that's just part of it. There's, there's the weather. Oh, there's everybody's dealing with um, tornadoes, floods, hurricanes. Yes. Um, um, forest fires. Yes. Um, earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Um, you name it. These natural disasters are huge. Correct. So how how do you keep yourself safe? Isn't isn't it just being a self sufficient, good thinking? Well. The way we define it, it absolutely is because you can't plan for every every contingency. No, you can't. And at some point, you're just going to have to deal with your wits. And well, the and best way to do that is removing that negative energy so that you can learn more, you can um, be flexible. And be able to listen. Yes. One of the things that, that I see about people that are out in the world, they don't listen to what other people are saying. They 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 become very self absorbed and they don't want to hear. Um, well, they, that somebody might have a better idea than they do. The other thing that I've noticed, jealousy, exactly, is that as you get older, most people aren't are stop learning. I've they, seen that. that they yeah. lack the intellectual curiosity. They they yes. don't learn anything anymore. And and not in this house. We're in, we're doing just the opposite. Yes. You know, I'm learning about things that I need to learn because I need to learn them. And it's fun. In in order to, uh, you need to learn them in order to survive. 
to survive. Yes, exactly. And 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 especially in the case of some sort of um, disaster. Yes, we'll say it that way. Well, you know, people. There are people here that move here and say, "I can't." You know, I, I, I can't live here because they they can't. They're used to a certain level of luxury from amenities. That's that, true. That That's that are true. provided by other people that they you know that you get with money. That's true. Um, that you can't get here, mm -hmm. and you have to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 harder. But true self sufficiency really is the collective, mm -hmm. and and you know my hope is, you know if you're thinking right now, oh my gosh, this is what I need. Okay. I want to work on my ecosystem. You know, I may be living in a place that I can't um, um, do um, um, do the self sufficiency, grow my own food, or sure. or or even have a generator, or you know, have your own source of water, or that right. sort of thing. But if you um, um, if you want to start from the basics, start with yourself. That's where it's that's where it's all at because that's where you'll have the most security that you could possibly have okay because you can't anticipate every single um contingency you can't anticipate every single problem that might happen no you can't and that's called life isn't it it is yes it, it is it really 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 is so um should we talk about how to remove negative energy yes well one more time if, if this if this appeals to you say oh my gosh i want to be more self-sufficient mm -hmm. you know i want to have devolved consciousness is what we call the side effect of using the ecosystem approach yeah. or refined intuition so I can deal with whatever comes at me right. um, in the best possible way, go to our website right now, theecosystemapproach.org. Sign up for our free section. It's right there. Um, go there, do that now. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it, the clearing statements are all written out for you. We're going to show you how to clear right now. Mm -hmm. Picture the processor is there and um, start doing that and listen to our show every week. Right. Right. That's and, how you do it. And and I want to say the processor is a really um, big deal. Um, when you see the processor, try and remember it. Um, it's like a garbage can on wheels. But the reason it's important to remember that is because all the negative energy that's on you and in you needs to be put in the processor. And the reason is, Jason? Um, because we process the negative energy. So it comes out neutral. That's it right. goes in the processor as negative and it comes out neutral. And it's it's the most um, um, uh, it helps the, the the earth ecosystem better than anything else out there. Exactly. And 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 you and the eco and excuse me, you and the earth system, um, believe it or not, you're actually partners. Yeah. And um, when you can really start to understand that um, if you're in a uh, very good, positive place, then the. Um, earth ecosystem around you, you can see if there's problems there and actually help it to become a better place for you and someone else to be. Mm. So with that said, Jason, let's talk about how to do the uh, clearing slash removing negative energy. Okay. It's very simple. Okay. You don't have to be in a rubber position. You can sit, stand, mm -hmm. you can be walking, mm -hmm. you can be laying down. Um, you can be doing something else. We often do clearing while we're washing dishes, taking a shower, correct. Um, even working in the yard for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, so um, um, so when we say to eliminate, it's usually an emotion, veils and illusions, barriers, that sort of thing. Imagine those barriers, veils and illusions in your mind's eye, in your imagination, and gather that up. Take, take a subtle breath and gather that up and blow it into a picture of the processor. Sierra's going to put up a picture of the processor right now if you're watching. And just blow it into that that garbage can on wheels. Yeah. And um, if you're if you're listening right now and you can't see the picture of the processor, go to our website and sign up for that. There's a picture there. There you go. Um, and you'll get it every week in our newsletter. But also, um, um, just imagine a, can, a trash can on wheels, and then yeah. we'll we'll um, um, re refine that um, that picture in your mind. Um, as you go forward. Exactly. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate life force energy and life force energy is the most powerful energy um, that any of us have access to. And um, today we might even add in a few of the planetary energies with that. Yes. And, um, and, and by the way, we are supposed to be able to use the planetary energies. We've been taught that we're not, 
but we are supposed to be able to use those energies. And by the way, I find that they're very comforting to me to know that I have something like that on my side. It's a tool. It truly is. And it's an amazing tool. Talk about a self-sufficiency tool. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, completely naked, <laughs> you can you can always do um, removing the negative energy and, and take, taking in um, planetary energies. Right. You'll have the, the best tool that that you could ever have exactly. otherwise. Exactly. So with that said, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to remove some negative energies um, so you can start to have real self-sufficiency for yourself first. I love that. This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia, and you're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. <laughs> This is the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason, and I'm Patricia. And in this segment, we're going to remove some negative energy so you can start to have real self-sufficiency. So, Jason, why don't you get started? Here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the numbness I have to my own ecosystem mm. and how out of balance it could be. Mm. And, and, and here's a hint. Um, unless you're doing an energy approach like the ecosystem approach, chances are it's really out of balance. Nice and easy. Nice. Take a breath and throw away that out of balance. Throw it into that processor like we talked about. The reason we use the processor is you don't need to throw negative energy around because you're going to work uh, do this, the removing negative energy and then get up and walk back into that negative energy. Put it in a garbage can. Put it in the processor. That's where that negative energy belongs not in you, not on you, and not around you. So with that said. And to eliminate, I'm going to um, just jump in here. Sure. Um, and to eliminate any um, anger, resentment, or bitterness I have, because I just said that your ecosystem is out of balance. It's not because you've done anything wrong. It's, exactly. It's um, That's the world we live in today. Right. So take a breath. And I'm going to add another one to that. Okay. And to eliminate the resentment I have that says, um, and the resistance I have to seeing the value of the ecosystem approach that could make my life, your life better right now. Nice and easy. Take a breath and blow out all that negative energy. Jason, go ahead. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see that ecosystems um, in nature are not as important as human ecosystems, mm. which are out of balance. Correct. Take, take a, a breath. breath. And I'm going to add this one and to eliminate the barriers so I can see that individual ecosystems and and emotionality, toxic energies that others have. In other words, if you can see it in someone else, you can almost be guaranteed that something similar is is within you. Get rid of it. It's easy. Take a breath. And blow out that negative energy. Go ahead. And to eliminate um, the intense feelings of worry, anxiety, and stress that I have that are indications that my personal ecosystem needs fixing or is out of balance. Yes, take a breath and blow it out. And to eliminate the barriers so I can see that human emotional ecosystems are made up of energies that can be very out of balance and contribute to the toxic ecosystems in nature yes nice and easy take a breath the point of that is that if you're a prepper out there um being off the grid and trying to develop the ecosystem of your land yes and you've got toxic energy connected to your ecosystem correct you're working against yourself you're paddling upstream and yes. all those all those other so i release and let go the blocks that are keeping me from seeing that and removing it using the ecosystem approach take a breath And to eliminate um, the veils and the barriers, so I can see the best ways to create self sufficiency is for me to work internally first. I love it. Take a breath and blow it out. And to eliminate any feelings of fear and terror that I have that come from toxic energies in my ecosystem. Wow, that's a big one. Take a breath. 
and to eliminate the barriers so I can see that being self-sufficient on land is much less important than personal self-sufficiency, which is internal. Nice. Take a breath. And to eliminate any feelings of fear and hurt and shame that I have that interferes with my ability to relate to the world in a reasonable way. And I'm going to start right now by using the ecosystem approach to get rid of those fears and hurts and shame that I'm stuck in. Go ahead. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that humans coming together for positive collective, collective action is the ultimate way for individual and collective self-sufficiency in the age of Aquarius. I Take love a breath. that one. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barrier so I can see the best priorities for me personally as I pursue self-sufficiency by using the ecosystem approach. Nice and easy. Take a breath and blow it out. Jason, we ready to activate some life force? Yes, let's Here do we that. go. Follow me, everyone. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force energy so I can use life force energy for all that I need, want, desire, and deserve. But that also includes the ability to see that the ecosystem approach is the best way for me to start right now. Nice and easy. Pull in that life force energy. Let it go all the way to the tips of your toes. Stop it right there. Turn it around and ask it to pick up that, that life force energy, to pick up negative energies that you don't need anymore, that aren't serving you anymore. Jason, go ahead. And to activate life force so I can have hope to have personal and emotional self-sufficiency as I go forward. That's the most valuable that you could ever have. Totally. Take a breath. Pull it in and blow out negative energy along the way. And to activate life force so I can trust that I have the ability to create emotional self-sufficiency. And that's the most important. Take a breath. Pull in that life force. It's amazing. And blow it out. And to activate life force so I can decide to focus on my personal emotional self-sufficiency and make it a priority. Nice. Take a breath. Go ahead and blow it out. And I'm going to ask you to help me on this last okay. one. And to activate life force so I can be happy and healthy and be creative and um, not only heal myself, but help heal others, heal the earth as well, but um, have laughter and love and fun. And I'm going to use what planetary energies for all of that right now, Jason? Um, let's use them all. There you go. Here we go. And to activate um, sun energy. Oh, Mercury energy. Let it keep. Let it come right in. Venus energy, Mars energy, mm. Neptune energy, Jupiter energy, Saturn energy, um, Uranus energy, and Pluto energy. Whether it's a planet or not. Yes, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is, is when we start to use all these energies, each individual uses what we need. Our bodies know what we need. Give it a chance to do that. Pull all that in. Now blow out any negative energies that we don't need anymore. Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? Good job on that one. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk about. Um, um, we we've talked about this um, from time to time mm -hmm. over the years. Um, this idea of of. Um, clear move meditate yes we have and we haven't talked a lot about meditation but basically we when we do a meditation it's um it's uh removing negative energies in a in a meditative sense that's correct and but the moves are kind of exciting because there are people out there that can't meditate they can't sit still they can't they can't sit and focus right. for a period of time they've got right. so much going on mm -hmm. and there's something about there's something very um, poetic okay. about moving and removing negative energy at the same time. Yes. It's it's like a dance. It's like... Um, but you can be sitting in a chair. You can be walking. You, can, you yes. can be doing all kinds of things and still use clearing moves to get what you need. 
in the moment. So we're going to talk about um, how we came up with that kind of idea. Mm -hmm. uh, Patricia's going to do, we're going to do some recordings this week about how to do some things, just some basic examples of what, what can be done. Mm -hmm. And and they can be adapted and used for you personally in ways that are very specific yes. to whatever you're working on right now, um, or in a very generic way too, mm -hmm. just to help you with the day. I really like that. You know, I think that this is going to be really exciting for us. Mm -hmm. And so if this is all connecting with you in a, in a, in a way, if you're getting that, that, that um, the hair is raised on the back of your neck or you're saying, Oh my gosh, can, I've got to have this. I'm feeling this in my heart. Yes. That kind of thing. Go to our website right now, the ecosystem approach.org and sign up for our free section. It's um, it's right there. Um, it gives you access to all sorts of information. Um, when you sign up for our, that free section, you get our weekly newsletter which has the clearings written out for that particular week. Yes, we it, make it easy. We make it easy. The statements is right there. With yes. The things you say is right there listed. Yes. And then a uh, picture of the processor is right mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. as well as what we're going to talk about the following week. Exactly. So if if you if this is if you want to start being more self sufficient with your own ecosystem, go to their website right now and, and sign up for that. It's it. all free and you can do that and listen to our show every week because that's how you start to understand how to use energy in your and, life. And not to mention, go to our Facebook page. What's the address for that, Jason? The ecosystem mm -hmm. is our Facebook page. Right. And we have our videos there. Like us while you're there, if you would. And um, 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 we're going to, we're going to keep talking. Okay. Okay. I love that. We'll connect next week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern time. This is Transformation Talk Radio, and you're listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. Remember, here it is. Your ecosystem is the most important one in the world. Thank you for listening to the Ecosystem Approach Show with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. Tune in every week as we discuss practical ways to apply the ecosystem approach and develop your potential to live your life on your terms. For more information, visit our website at theecosystemapproach.org.